In today's tutorial, we will be talking about raindrops or more specifically wet surfaces. So whether it's um, a so whether it's a, a shower door or if it's like window and it's like raining outside, this technique that I'm going to be showing you is applicable to any type of wet surfaces. You just need to use the uh, appropriate map related to actually what you're trying to transcript. But the technique or the approach at least is exactly the same. So make sure to stay till the end to really to see the transformation. Move straight into our file. Um, usual step we have right now, you can see here, this is our shower glass. And what I want, I mean, right now you can see that we're right now in the shower, water's on. So obviously, you know that when someone's in the shower, water's just dripping everywhere in the glass and it just creates imperfections. So it creates like raindrops. And we want to showcase that to add more realism to our render. To do so, let's open first our Enscape Material Editor. Now let's select our specific substrate, meaning the glass right here. So you, write, you can see right now the glass has already been set up. Now if you don't know how to set up glass, I've got you covered. All you need to do is just click on the link up here which will bring you straight to a tutorial where I explain how to configure a glass. So once your glass is configured, what you need to do is to go and download a map um, of these kind of raindrops. Now these are available in different types of PBR websites. I will be adding in the description below two or three websites uh, where you can find these type of maps. Once you've downloaded your map from these websites and you save them in your computer, all you need to do is actually, it's very simple and straightforward. Again, you need to go in the height map, type, you keep that to bump, and in texture, you click here on the folder, and right here, you can see I've already save my map. So you need to make sure to use the one which has the contrast, so the black and white contrast, to create the contrast that we need in terms of our outcome. So now let's open that. And right now you can see already that we're having water drops, which are a bit too subtle. So we're just going to make them a little bit bigger. To do that, we need to click on the image right here, Click on explicit texture transformation, and then we're just gonna make that a little bit bigger. So if I zoom on the other side, you can see here clearly that we have the water drops appearing. So if you can see right now, I just turn my image and you can clearly see here the raindrops falling on our um, shower door, which looks really great. So now over to you, give it a try. Uh, you've got everything in hand to test it and you see that the outcome will be absolutely stunning. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, to like, or even to share, and I will see you in the next tutorials.